With us on set once again is Keith Hart, and we are going to do the Hospitality Ball. This year it's on June 27th, so here's our guest. How are you? Very good. Thank you for uh, helping promote this. And you know, once again, it's going to be a big event, I think. We're uh. all set for it, and it's looking real good. Yeah. Now, little tweaks, a little changes this year. Mm -hmm. um, so. The premise of the hospitality ball, as I understand it, is that the people that work in hospitality, you know, they're there for us. All the holidays, everything, they're working, right. they're working long hours, and they really don't get a chance to celebrate life themselves. Right. Okay, so tell us a little bit about that angle. Well, it's kind of their New Year's Eve party. Okay. You know, so uh, the people in the business are always working, and so we do it on a Monday night, and it's their way that, to shout and have fun, and of course to raise money for a good cause. Uh, you know, cancer affects all of us every day. You hear another story about it. So uh, this is our party, the our night to howl. And that's kind of how it started. That's right. <laughs> Literally howl. <laughs> Howling at the moon. Right. So uh, this year's at the Crest Hollow. Once again. And right. uh, how many restaurants do you have participating? What's going to be Probably happening? Probably about 70 or 80 of the top restaurants on, on Long Island are participating. And they donate food. And the importance of them just to donate, not just to donate food, is they get behind it. They promote it in their restaurants. So you have the waitresses and the bartenders and the barbacks and the managers telling patrons about it also. So it's dual. Also, also, you go to a lot of events and have the same catering food at all the places. Now you're getting a chance <laughs> to taste food from all these different restaurants. And they all have egos. Restaurateurs all have egos. Matter of fact, I put a sign on the door at the meetings, leave your egos uh, behind when you enter this room. So they'll try to outdo each other. So the food that you're tasting that night is actually very, very good. Yeah, the best of the right, best, right? Right, right. you got a lot of great restaurants involved in it, like the Bolsons, you know, the Scottos, and different people like that that are participating in it. So all of these people have really good restaurants, and you're trying all kinds of different foods. So it's a smorgasbord of food and libations. And you're a really good chairman. Like, the one thing that I love about you is that you're a great leader. You know, like, you have everything so efficient. You have these meetings. You you have a well-run meeting. Like, you tell people, leave your ego at the door. So you've got all these restaurants that are usually competitors, you know, competing in a fun way that night, right? right? Then you've got all of these vendors that want to, like, donate cool raffle baskets. Right. Then you've got spirits companies that are involved. Uh, and you've got great honorees. Uh, who's on deck this year? Who, who are you celebrating this, uh, this time? Well, we have some really good people, and I'll tell you how good they are. Okay. Uh, Sean Rose from Claire Rose. That's Budweiser, Corona. Their family's huge on Long Island. He's, uh, uh, he's the president, and he's being honored. Sean already just stroked us a check for $20,000 from oh. his own company. Besides, he's going to get other companies to get involved and, and, and be sponsors too. So he has more people coming aboard. Then we have Garrett McGinnis from uh, 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 Southern Wine and Spirits. He's a vice president of Southern Wine and Spirits. And, and Southern Wine and Spirits is probably the biggest distributor on Long Island. They have so many different products. So when he's involved with somebody from like that, we have all these big liquor companies like Pernod Ricard and Jim Beam and Diageo and all these great libations that you, we drink all the time are there. Uh, and so him and then we have a, a guy named uh, Chris who owns Mio Posto. Uh, and unfortunately, he has uh, stage three uh, uh, colon cancer. And so we're honoring him, too. And then uh, posthumously, uh, uh, Jerry Cusack, from, he used to own Heffron's for a long, long time. Uh, he just died. And so we're just honoring him this year. So every year that's kind of the format of the people. And these sponsors bring in a lot of money. They you do. Know? And, and we're and, supporting this year the Carolyn Baldwin right. uh, organization. Right. You know, and they're celebrating a big anniversary. And I know sometimes uh, the Baldwins are there to celebrate also. I was just on the phone with Alec last week. He says he's definitely coming. Wonderful. And he was in California. He goes, Keith, I'm really, really busy. I said, well, it's your mom. You coming? <laughs> he goes, I'll be there. And he's like the MC, And uh, and we're going to get him to announce to the crowd, thank you for uh, coming down and everything like that. And maybe... It, maybe do an auction too. Oh, so nice. he'll be there, Billy will be there, and uh, hopefully their mom too. And also yeah. slate it to appear, and I always say slate it to appear, because sometimes things can happen, but right. uh, Teresa Caputo is supposed to come. She's and supposed to be have... shooting an ex episode for her reality show at the Hospitality Ball. So she's 
she says she's in. Yeah. You know, some, sometimes things happen, but. <laughs> And it yeah. really is a who's who, and it's a lot yeah. of fun. And uh, this year, running the pink carpet, I think there, there's so many people and so many oh. crazy things that are happening. The logistics on this party alone, you know, take a whole year of planning. A lot, a lot so. of coordination. And that's what, something we want to try to do, a pink carpet or a red carpet, hopefully a pink carpet on, on the way in, and have everybody, you know, take pictures and, and things like the interviews on the way in there. Uh, so that should be great too. Yes, uh, such a celebration and, and of life. And the entertainment, great entertainment. The Lloyds of Fifty Second Street, which is a Billy Joel uh, a band with a lot of the members are in the in Billy Joel band are, are playing that night. Yeah, they're that's supposed gonna be fun. to be phenomenal. Uh, so they're going to be on the main stage as you walk in, right in the middle, and we're going to try to get Alec Baldwin to uh, announce them. You know, say okay, here they are. Excellent. So that That'll be, be fun. Pretty good. And, and that 70s to, band, right? That 70s band oh. was great. We're supposed to have some uh, Victoria's Secret models coming down, uh, uh, giving away or signing bras uh, for the event. And we have Theo, uh, who's a phenomenal uh, DJ, will be there, and a host of other people that participate in entertainment. There's entertainment all over the place the whole night. And, and so. the uh, ladies, the attractive women from the Heart Agency. Right. 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 Well, <laughs> a little props a, to you. I'm just a, saying. It's right. important right. to have women yes. at an event. <laughs> women bring men and, and so forth and attractive people. And I think we have a very attractive crowd because you have a little bit of everything. I think you have uh, uh, attractive people that come down. People get dressed up for the night. You have the people in the industry. You have your foodies. You have your people that really like special libations and cocktails that are coming in. So it's all in all. And, and, and I think that's what separates us from a lot of other events. And I go to, I go to a lot of charity events. You go there, you pay your money, you can't wait for the speeches to be over, you don't even want to eat your entree because you want to get out of there because it's no fun. And this event, people are there for the party. Yes. They want to go. And that was our premise of the whole thing. Throw a great party like build it and they will come, throw a great party and they will come and they will keep on coming back because it's something interesting. You have people that are coming in there to check out fashion, what, what they're wearing, you know. We have, the, uh, we have the Ferrari, Maserati people involved uh, that are going to bring putting the cars outside. So it's a little bit of everything. You know, and I that know that you it. sell out. So people mm. should buy their tickets now. And, and I'm not saying that to, to twist anybody's arm. Literally, you were turning Let, people away last, last year. Last year, we, so we, we gotta, sold out in right. advance. And you know what happened? Two years ago, we sold too many tickets. Okay. And it was a little uncomfortable in there. If you walked around, you couldn't even walk around. So we said, okay, what makes this a better event? We'll only sell a certain amount of tickets. And after that... You know, That's it's it. better because if you if you go to a party and you can't get into the party, you won't even want to come more the next year. Right. So that's kind of what we're doing this year. So buy your tickets in advance if you want to uh, make sure you get in. Thank you, you so know. much. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Uh, thank I you. know that you've dealt with your own physical um, right. situation in the past. Right. My mom passed away from breast cancer. My husband right. died of colon cancer. I'm there. I'm here to celebrate life, right. and so we're going to well, live it up, right? It's, yeah, it's amazing that that uh, just recently I went to the oncologist and every year I go and then I went and uh, got scanned and, and, and you feel like a million bucks. You feel, wow, this is why I do this crazy thing that takes up all my time because it's so important and you just gotta live your life because we don't know when it can change. So live it like uh, there's no tomorrow, enjoy it and try to do the right thing and that's what I'm trying to do with this and it's working. And you know? June 27th would have been my parents' wedding anniversary so I'll be dancing wow, for sure. So uh, stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We're inviting you to the Hospitality Ball 2016 at the Crest Hollow Country Club and you can go to the website and find out the information.